Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all... If my children didn't have cochlear implants, the world would be completely silent to them. Lisa and Ryan Clayton's first child, Ella Marie, was born with profound hearing loss. Her life was changed when she received the miracle of hearing thanks to the cochlear implant program at Children's of Alabama. Then when it was time to think about growing their family, the Claytons were very concerned that hearing loss may occur again, even though there was only a slim chance. My husband and I thought a lot about um, if we were gonna have another child, because we knew that that child could definitely have hearing loss. And in surprise, it was twins. It wasn't one more child, it was two more children. Fortunately, Dr. Audie Woolley, surgeon and medical director of the cochlear implant program at Children's, was ready to help along with his team. Of course, the family was devastated. I'll, I'll never forget them either uh, because they had no history of this in their family but we worked them through it, worked them through the therapy, got uh, Ella Marie ready, she wore hearing aids for six months or so, and then she got a cochlear implant and she just took off, did fantastic. So when the babies were born, they immediately got a hearing test and they both failed. And so we immediately made plans to do the implant. A cochlear implant is a surgically implanted electronic device that provides a sense of sound to a person who has severe, profound hearing loss. Dr. Woolley began the cochlear implant program at Children's in 1995 with auditory verbal therapist Nancy Gregg. It has since expanded to more than 10 staff members and added a full spectrum of services, including a second type of surgical procedure, which involves a bone-anchored hearing device. More than 300 children have been treated with cochlear implants, and many more have received hearing aids. We see about 100 newly diagnosed hearing loss children a year, and of that 100, probably 10 to 15 to 20 will need a cochlear implant. Children's means everything to us. A lot of times I have people ask us, how do you do it? How do you come up here each week? It's two and a half hours away from your house. And I always answer with, how could I not come up here? I have the opportunity for each one of my children to be able to hear and to speak. We look forward to it. Happy face. A happy face. Meet Caroline Leak. This Mountain Brook High School graduating teenager was only two years old when she was diagnosed with severe hearing loss. She was fitted with hearing aids and with speech therapy, she excelled in school. She loved sports and music and was even on the dance team. But over time, the hearing aids began to lose their effectiveness and Caroline became a candidate for cochlear implants. She had her first one at age eight. She did great with the cochlear implant. She again went back into therapy because it was a new type of hearing with a cochlear implant, but she learned very quickly. I never heard a cat meow until I had a cochlear implant, which is random, but um, I just noticed with my friend's cats, like her mouth started moving. I heard the sound that came out of it. I was like, wait, do they always do that? If I could say something to the people that helped me after my surgery and through the, throughout the entire process, um, I should say thank you so much. We're really lucky to be living in this technology where we can actually give somebody hearing. I mean, it's just an amazing thing. It never grows old. It, it's always, you know, I always tear up when I see them and uh, it's an amazing thing to see. Yeah, it really is.